Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter in Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. Now, it's Thursday, April the 10th. I've got four press releases for you, but they're all from the resources sector in Canada. Nothing on the U.S. side today, uh, probably because we had a plethora of earnings news coming out of the U.S. small cap sector for a couple of weeks and it looks like it's dried up a bit, maybe taking a bit of a break. So I've got four press releases for you, all resources related in Canada. Let's get straight to it. First off, Ariane Resources here trades on the Venture, venture Exchange under D. AR for our friends in Germany on Frankfurt under JE9 and for our friends in the U.S. on the pink sheets under DARUF. This isn't a GORCOM client, have to disclose that, but these numbers do speak for themselves. They're reporting uh, drilling results of up to 14 14.58 grams per ton of gold over just under five and a half meters. These are from their open, Opinaka property in James Bay. These are the latest drilling results from the 2000, 2000, 2007, 2008 drilling campaign. Preliminary results were put out on March 17th. Go take a look at that press release. Here are some of the highlights uh, in the Chino Zone hole 08010. That's the big one here. Return 14.58 grams per ton of gold over 5.4 meters. That includes, listen to this number, 28.24 grams per ton of gold over 2.75 meters. Big numbers there for Ariane. That hole was, uh, was located under hole OPI 0641, which previously returned 1.15 grams per ton over 5.5 meters. Uh, over to the contact zone, back on March 17th, as previously announced on March 17th, 2008, uh, drill hole 0802 returned 2.15 grams per ton over 3.8 meters. A lot of data here. Let's sum it up like this, like this from the company. These drill holes clearly show that the contact, the contact zone discovered in 1996 and initially drilled in 2006 presents a minimum vertical extension of 350 meters. The Chino zone also shows an important vertical extension, although it wasn't drilled as deep, and the bull zone's continuity has also been confirmed. So what's next? The technical team will be present on the Opanaka sector uh, during this summer. The company, this is really important, has sufficient funds to not only pursue exploration in the area, as, but also uh, complete additional drilling. Really important in this environment that despite the fact we've got great commodity prices, a lot of juniors are having a difficult time. Uh, a lot of them are having a difficult time getting funding. Uh, Ariane has that all locked up. So great results. Uh, more drilling coming this summer, and they got the funds behind them. Nice news there for Ariane. They closed yesterday at eight cents. Next up, Hinterland Metals, also an Agoracom client, trades on the Venture Exchange under HMI. They announced that they discovered 1.8 meters of 1.12% copper and 0.3% nickel that's on their eBay property in Quebec. Uh, they've intersected several massive sulfide intervals uh, that assayed, as I said, 1.12% copper and 0.3% nickel over 1.8 meters. They're saying that these are the best, these intervals are the best copper nickel drilling uh, drill intersections ever reported in this part of the Bell River complex and as such are an important discovery. So when Mark Fekete says that about the company, you got to listen because he's got a great reputation and that's a, a big statement to make. Uh, some points here, intervals, intervals occur within a broader zone of patchy sulfide mineralization that was encountered over a horizontal distance of 200 meters and to a vertical depth of 110 meters. A lot of, uh, lot of uh, table results Go take a look at that. We're giving you highlights here. The zone at its widest is 23.6 meters. It is also interesting to note that the zone is depleted in platinum and palladium. Uh, and news is important enough that the company is uh, conducting a beyond the press release on, our, on the uh, Hinterland Hub on Agoracom by no later than April the 11th. So make sure to tune in on that where you can listen to Mark uh, describe this better in, uh, in the layman's terms and why it's so important to the company. They closed yesterday at nine cents. Next up, Plato Gold trades on the Venture Exchange on the stock symbol PGC. A new Agoracom client, congratulations to them, have to announce that. Just This is one of those anomaly days where three of the four press releases are Agoracom clients. Nonetheless, the news stand on their own. They're announcing that they intercepted 5.28 grams per ton of gold over 2.85 meters and 3.71 grams per ton over 4.25 meters. These asset results are from the first three drill holes completed uh, this year at the Nordo Project, which is located 50 kilometers east of Val d'Or. We all know that area, great area 
area to be in. Uh, these recent drilling results, in conjunction with earlier exploration campaigns, illustrate a positive continuation of gold mineralization, both laterally and at depth. Here are some of the highlights. Hole 0801, 1.3 grams per ton over 1.95 meters. 5.28 uh, grams a ton over 2.85 meters. 4.8 grams a ton over 2.15 meters. Hole 0802, 1.46 grams a ton over 2.8 meters. Hole 0803, 3.71 grams a ton over 4.25 meters. The company closed yesterday at 8.5 cents. Next up, Can Plants Resources trades on the Venture Exchange under CPQ. Uh, we're, uh, we're looking at this as a low grade, massive tonnage polymetallic deposit. They're announcing that drilling extends uh, gold, silver, lead, zinc mineralization laterally and at depth. This is at their Represa project. Here are some of the numbers here. Listen to this whole CRD01. 725 meters, averaging 0.49 grams uh, grams per gold uh, grams per ton of gold, uh, 10 10.03 grams of silver, 0.13 percent lead, 0.4 percent zinc. Big numbers. Whole CRD03, 728 meters, averaging 0.5 grams per ton of gold, 12.01 grams per ton of silver, 0.11 percent lead, 0.28 percent zinc. Same for whole uh, CR25. Big numbers coming out of Can Platts here. The 150,000 hectare Camino Rojo project is wholly owned by Can Platts and is located in an area of excellent infrastructure, just 50 kilometers to the southeast of Gold. Gold Corpse, Pensaquito Mine, great news out of Canplatz. They closed yesterday at $3.84. And finally, got one stock halt for you here. It's uh, out of Aldridge Minerals. Trades of the venture under AGM. They are halted at $9.21. They are halted at the request of the company. Pending news. Take a look at that. You never know if they've come out with something uh, really great. Otherwise, that's a wrap for the day. Uh, as always, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace, where you find over 90 great small cap companies with great descriptions divided by industry and exchange, so you can find the ones best suited for, for, for your portfolio. If you're watching this on Globe Investor, then all around this page, you see some great headlines, great feature webcasts, great feature stories, all of that, all leading to great stories that's coming out of the small cap energy and resources sector. Take a look at those. That's a wrap for the day. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day.